According to our current knowledge, the solar system was formed about 4.6 billion years ago. Consequently, our Earth and its galactic neighbors already look back on an enormously long history, the time span of which is difficult to grasp. A look at the other entities in the universe, however, proves that the age of the members of our planetary system seems almost insignificant when we compare it with the incredible lifespan of other astronomical bodies. For in fact, an Australian team of experts succeeded some time ago in tracking down the oldest known star in the cosmos. What the researchers have found out so far about this ancient object and how such Methuselah formations help to significantly expand our basic understanding of the history of the universe, we show you now in the following video. Want to learn more about the exciting discoveries and unique spectacles in space on a regular basis? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos again in the future. With a thumbs up, you motivate us and show that we can engage you with our content. The Oldest Known Star in the Universe a few years ago, a team of experts led by astronomers from the Australian National University succeeded in adding a galactic primordial to the star charts. In 2014, the researchers were able to track down a star that was born 13.7 billion years ago and therefore formed shortly after the Big Bang. No other known star in the universe has such an assured old age. In detail, the discovery of the celestial body, which is located about 6,000 light years away from our blue home planet, was recorded with the help of the SkyMapper telescope of the Siding Spring Observatory. While the immense lifespan of the object already leaves us in pure amazement, this breathtaking discovery provides experts with yet another insight. The find allows astronomers to study the chemical composition of one of the earliest stars in the cosmos, providing an even more revealing picture of what the universe was like shortly after the Big Bang. According to researchers, tracking down such old stars is like looking for a needle in a haystack. However, thanks to the SkyMapper telescope's ability to identify stars with low iron content for their color, this challenging task was successfully accomplished. The chemical composition of the ancient star shows that it once formed in the material wake of a primordial star, estimated to have had 60 solar masses. In order for a star the size of our sun to form, the basic cosmic recipe calls for the fundamental components, helium and hydrogen, to be supplemented by gigantic masses of iron. The corresponding quantity of the necessary iron corresponds thereby approximately to the 1,000-fold Earth mass. However, this material scheme did not apply to the stars which were born in the early time of the cosmos, so that the ancient star could be formed no more than an iron and carbon-rich asteroid of the size of Australia was necessary. As a result, deciphering this natural makeup and formation background is helping experts gain new insights into the nature of the very first stars. Prior to this groundbreaking discovery, experts believed that the first stars of the cosmos died in massive explosions that polluted vast areas of space with the iron they released. The detailed investigation of the old star drew, however, a completely different picture Thus, the celestial body shows indications of a pollution with lighter elements such as magnesium and carbon, and an extreme output of iron could not be determined, however. This circumstance suggests that the supernova of the primordial star had surprisingly little energy. Although the explosion was powerful enough, to destroy the primordial star, almost all of the heavy elements such as iron were swallowed up by a black hole that had formed at the center of the stellar detonation. In other words, the analysis of the 13.7 billion year old celestial body is like the investigation of a galactic time capsule. Such research thus has the potential to reconcile the long-standing discrepancy between observations and theoretical statements about the Big Bang. A star older than the universe? About 190 light-years from Earth, in the constellation Lyra, there is a celestial body that can easily rival the star just presented in terms of age, HD 140 283. In detail, the analysis of the star, completed by the use of the Hubble Space Telescope, showed that the object has an estimated age of 14.5 billion years. The accuracy of this dating is subject to a deviation of plus or minus 800 million years. But how is this even possible? According to the common theory 
theories of scientists. The universe was born only 13.8 billion years ago. So how can it be that a star is older than the cosmos? Even the first attempt to determine the exact age of the celestial body, aptly named the Methuselah star, caused a great deal of confusion among experts. In 2000, an ESA science team had concluded that the age of the star was 16 billion years, a fact that could not coincide with the previous observations of the experts. The study of the cosmic microwave background radiation shows that the Big Bang did not occur until more than 2 billion years after it. Just as in the case already presented, it was the chemical composition that revealed the biblical age of the celestial body. Consisting mainly of helium and hydrogen, the star must have formed at a time when iron was anything but commonplace in the universe. To put the previously estimated age of 16 billion years to the test, a team of experts conducted 11 additional series of investigations between the years 2003 and 2011 by recording and evaluating parallax, spectroscopy, and photometry measurements. The actual age of the object was to be determined more precisely than before. The main objective was to determine the exact distance between the Earth and HD 140-283 in order to put the actual luminosity of the star into a realistic context. In principle, the stronger the intrinsic luminosity, the younger the star. In this way, the researchers ultimately succeeded in reducing the estimated age of the celestial body to 14.5 billion years. This was a significant reduction, but it was still not possible to reconcile this number with the duration of the existence of the universe. This should be reached only by the already mentioned rest uncertainty of 800 million years. This is because, in detail, all measured estimates are subject to both random and systematic errors. Through further follow-up research, the presumed age of the Methuselah star has been updated once again to 14.27 billion years. Taking into account the tolerance of 800 million years, the object thus has an age consistent with our knowledge of the formation history of the entire cosmos. The Age of the Universe However, not only the age determination of celestial bodies, but also the age determination of the universe itself always brings unexpected discrepancies to light. For example, several studies have been published in the past that looked at measurements of relatively nearby galaxies and suggested a surprising finding. The universe may be hundreds of millions of years younger than the analysis of the cosmic microwave background radiation suggests. Meanwhile, a detailed measurement of cosmic rays by the European Planck Space Telescope showed that the universe could be only 11.4 billion years old. All these different age determinations of the cosmos are based on one thing in common, the idea of an expanding universe. This assumption is again fundamental for the conception of the Big Bang. According to this, a state of an original singularity once existed from which matter, space, and time emerged together. This process of the expansion continuing until today suggests therefore that the assumption that there should be a measurable starting point of this development. However, new findings indicate that the expansion rate of the universe is about 10% higher than previously assumed. Accordingly, in the past, it was still considered that the expansion rate of the universe amounts to a value of about 40 miles per second and per megaparsec. However, more recent measurements suggest expansion rates of 45 miles per second and per megaparsec. What this means is that there is a difference between the measurement of the expansion speed of the cosmos today and the predictions in this regard based on the physics of the early universe. A fact that makes one thing clear to scientists, there is still much to find out about the mysterious dark matter and dark energy believed to be behind this galactic mystery. In detail, this age paradox that scientists keep confronting could be due to a temporary temporary chain in dark energy. The problem is that although dark energy is now considered in cosmology to be the fundamental form of energy that can explain the accelerated expansion of the cosmos, its actual existence has not been experimentally proven, a statement that can also be applied to the case of dark matter, with the help of which we can explain the motions of visible matter. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the ancient stars and the great mysteries they pose to the scientific community? Write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's contribution below in the comments. Would you like to see more exciting videos on the topic of space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.